hello welcome back to my channel i'm so grateful you are here today i will be setting up october in my friends custom bullet journal if you have missed any other videos that i have done on my friends custom bullet journal be sure to go check that out on my channel afterwards now that i've opened up the journal clicked on the page we can go ahead and get started i'm going to start off with just a simple black marker and make some cute ghosts on the page these are super simple to do you just do an upside down u shape and then some squiggles at the bottom you can add a face if you would like to i did a bunch of different fun faces on these ghosts now i'm going to write out october on the cover page in all block letters that is going to be my main font for this month and i personally really enjoy doing block letters and if you are liking this video so far if you like bullet journaling content watercoloring scrapbooking you name it Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I would love to have you here on my channel and I would love to help you get creative with my videos. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the October in the block letters and then we can go ahead and move on to the quote page on the other side and I'm mixing it up with some block letters and some cursive just to give it a little bit of a fun feel. And my quote for this month for my friend is, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. And I've loved all the quotes I've put in this journal so far. I like to do inspiring, uplifting, encouraging quotes so that whenever you open up that page, you just get encouraged. So that's what I'm doing here. And you'll see in a little bit, I'm doing a black marker for the block letters, but then the cursive in this book, I will go and do with an orange marker just cause I don't know. That's just what I think of when I think of October, I like black and orange and yellow, sometimes like a purple and a green, but you know, I'm just going to stick with the orange and the black and yeah, so now I'm just doing the cursive on the um, quote page, sorry. Um, so now I'm finishing up the cursive and I also added some cute ghosts as you saw and I love drawing ghosts. They're super simple and chill and you don't really need to be a great artist to draw them and you can add whatever sort of facial expression you would like. Okay, now right above the October block letters we did not too long ago, I'm going to be adding an orange cursive hello just to spice up the page a little bit more. And then we are going to scatter candy corn all over the page. So first I'm going in with this um, thinner pen and then I'm going in with orange and yellow. They're just like Crayola markers. Now moving on to the calendar page, I'm just going to draw that out. And if you know me, I love spinning the notebook book to be able to drag the pen towards me because I find that is the easiest way to make a straight line in my opinion so I'm just going to do that on this direction first and then I will flip the notebook as you can see now and do the same thing finished the calendar I'm going to go ahead and add some orange dots just to write the numbers of the calendar on and I love alternating the colors just to kind of spice it up a little bit more once I've done that I'm going to add an October header at the top of this page and guys I just wanted to tell you a little secret about the next video my next video is going to be November in my friends bullet journal and I have the cutest theme planned so like definitely subscribe so you don't miss that video because it is so cute you're going to want to use it in your bullet journal for your next fall theme because it is adorable so i just wanted to tell you guys because i can't wait for it to come out it's gonna be awesome and i might have to use the theme in my bullet journal because it's that cute anyways now that i drew the ghosts by the october header at the top of this calendar page i'm moving on to a little goals section over here and i'm going to repeat the same with the block letters and color them in. Moving on 
to the next page, which is our habit tracker page and mood tracker page. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love to cram as many little habit tracker calendars as I can into this page. So I will be doing a lot of little habit trackers this month because I don't just use it for habits. I'll use it for like watering my plants or making my bed or, you know, reading or finishing all my homework or that type of thing so yes they are habits but not just the normal habits so i'm adding a little header to the top here the same block letters and coloring them in then i'm going to add a few more cute little candy corn and i'm going to go ahead and stamp all of my stamps on the little habit trackers and then i'm alternating the colors of the tops and she can just fill in what habit she wants to do here and i love these little habit tracker stamps i'll probably link them below so check that out and now i'm just drawing out yes 31 little ghosts and i'm writing mood tracker and at the bottom there's a little like legend of the different moods you can do but she could obviously change it if she wanted to my friend but now moving on to the first weekly spread i made this simple grid and then i'm going to add some numbers and then a little to-do list here same block letters and then we will do a fun little like collage in the center with ghosts october and week one as you can see to work on the second weekly spread of the month and this is my co to weekly spread i use it a lot in my own bullet journal i have in a task section and events now the third weekly spread of the month this one is much more larger with lots of space and a cute little collage up here at the top with october week three some ghosts and candy corn after i have colored this in and added the numbers we will move on to the fourth weekly spread of the month I also really enjoy this setup. I'm just using this orange pen to go down on either side, as you can see. Flipping my notebook again to get those straight lines. Then I'm going to split the days so that they kind of go in the center. And you have a little notes and to-do section on either side. And I'm also splitting up the last day for 30 and 31 because it's kind of an odd number and I didn't want to make a whole nother weekly spread just for one day. So I'm trying to be as most efficient with the pages as I can. Now I'm just going to do these little notes and for these ones I didn't want to color them in just to add something different. So I'm just going to finish this and the little to do's and add the numbers and that should be it for this weekly spread. forgot now I'm going to add little lines under the notes and to do section and then I'm going to make more little lines after I've numbered it with a gray marker I just like to do this to kind of spice up your notes section and to do section just to add a little bit more to the page I really like the look of it and it's just more pleasing to look at up the last gray lines on our to-do list and then we have the flip through i love how this turned out with our really cute cover page with lots of candy corn and ghosts everywhere i love the accents of orange all over then we have our calendar page i love the orange and yellow alternating colors of the calendar habit tracker and mood tracker love how it turned out first and second weekly spread and then we have the third weekly spread with lots of space and i'm so sorry guys i think my camera died because I forgot to record the fourth weekly spread. Anyways, you know what it looked like if you've watched till this point. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Watch this video right here. I really hope you enjoyed it, learned something, and I'll see you the next one. Bye-bye.